so welcome back guys my name is Zuhaib and uh, today we are going to talk about on a very good interesting topic uh, that is function calling uh, or presented by OpenAI so OpenAI has allowed to call your hard-coded functions inside your uh, chat GPT conversations uh, to answer your queries and uh, if you guys still have not subscribed my channel then subscribe it first and with that let's get it started so guys let's first start uh, to understand the concept of OpenAI function calling so let's say you have a piece of code in which uh, you have written two functions function one uh, which uses the parameter a and function uh, two which uses the parameter b so let's say at some point you make some query to the chat gpt like uh, query q1 uh, my drawing is very bad <laughs> sorry so query q1 is made to the chat gpt this query is saved inside your first inside your message list and this message list is sent to the chat gpt so when you use OpenAI function calling, you do not only send the query to the chat GPT, you also send the function definitions. These function definitions, these are the definitions of function one and function two alongside your query, original query Q1. So this all information is sent to the chat GPT. So chat GPT is very intelligent. Chat GPT uh, understands your query Q1 and then decides if he needs to use any function uh, to answer this query. So it has the definitions of function one and function two. So chat GPT analyzes the query Q1 and decides uh, which function he has to use to answer this query Q1. So let's say chat GPT uh, says that I want to function F1 function one to answer the query q1 so he sends a response back let's say this response is r1 so this response is being saved inside your message list as well so this response r1 when you analyze this response it will have the information that chat gpt wants to use function one to answer the query q1 so it will have the information inside your response f1 so you analyze the response r1 inside your code with some conditions uh, you can use if condition uh, to to check whether uh, which function chat gpt wants to use so let's say it chat gpt says i want to use function one with parameter a to answer the query q1 so inside your your code you set your interpreter to run function one so your interpreter runs the function one with the parameter a the response of this function is saved this response is again added to your message list now you have three things inside your message list one is the original query q1 the response against your query q1 this one which says that chat gpt wants to use the function one with the parameter a and the third one is the response of the function one this one so these three things are stored inside your message list so when you make your second call to the chat gpt like the second call these three things inside your message list is sent again to the chat gpt this is your second call now chat gpt has all the things to answer your original query q1 which wants to be answered by the chat gpt chat gpt says that i want to use function one with the parameter a and the response of the function f1 um, yeah so these three things now chat gpt have now chat gpt analyzes these all three things and prepare a final response against your original query q1 this is your final response let's say fr so this final response is 
uh, is the final answer against your query q1 so this is very easy to understand the functionality of open ai function calling so let's uh, walk through the code to understand it uh, more deeply so guys let's walk through the code and uh, see how it works so first we will mount our droid uh, with the uh, with the call app these are the libraries that we will use inside our tutorial like the openai pandas uh, python.n python.n will be used to import the environment variables and uh, pyt uh, pytz will also be used so in side what our data we have stock mobile stock uh, in our uh, data uh, which holds the information about different products and their available quantity uh, so yeah so it will take some time to install these libraries it has been installed so let's see which uh, columns we have inside our da stock data frame uh, product id product name and the available quantity so these are the three uh, columns we have inside our data uh, let's print out the first five entries of our data so we have iphone 14 inside our stock with the quantity 30 iphone x max we have 35 we do not have any iphone 7 inside our uh, stock so these are the product ids of our all the different uh, products uh, ip14 is the product id of iphone 14 similarly ip7 is the product id of uh, iphone 7 so this is our complete data so it's time to declare the function which we want chat gpt to use if chat gpt decides that i want to use this function uh, we will run this function inside our piece of code but let's first declare and see how uh, we will write this function so this function named uh, check product quantity uh, it takes the uh, variable product id and returns the available quantity it's look into our stock and returns the pro product quantity against this product id so here we will check uh, in our data frame against this product id and uh, the product row will be returned <clears throat> here we will see the if the product row is not empty uh, we will extract the product name and the available uh, quantity of that product uh, from our data so here uh, we are storing our output of this function which contains the product id uh, product name and the available quantity so it's pre pretty easy now there is very important concept here so inside in function calling in open ai function calling the result returned by the function it must be inside a json object so this is very mandatory condition uh, in open ai function calling that's why we have dumped our output dictionary inside the json object here we are dumping our output inside the json object it is saved as json and returned as json object so if we do not get any uh, product against our product id the output would be uh, will contain the error key so it is very pretty simple uh, this the, fun the definition of this um, function check product quantity so now it's time to see how the conversation with the chat gpt works if we want to use a function so in step one we will send the conversation with all the uh, function definitions to the chat gpt uh, as i described earlier in my video so we are importing different environment variables like the open api key uh, so is the step one st send the conversation available functions to the chat gpt so let's make a query to the chat gpt with the role user so when we make a query to the chat gpt we use the role as a user so the content of will be what is the quantity we ask the chat gpt what is the quantity of product with id ip14 so the the functions these are these are the definition of the functions that we are also sending uh, alongside our query uh, like the check product quantity the definite the description it says that it finds the quantity of the product against the given id we also send the argument or the parameter details that 
the function ch check product quantity uses like in our case the product id it will use and it will be type of string and the definition it says the id of the product so this is the definition uh, of the functions that we also we will be sent alongside our messages so here we are making our call to the chat gpt and it uses the uh, model gpt 3.5 turbo uh, 0613 so right now the open ai function calling capability is only is available uh, inside two models like uh, gpt 4 0613 and uh, gpt 3.5 turbo 0613 so inside uh, these two models can be used with the open ai function calling so we are sending our messages and also the functions definitions function call equal to auto so we have set fun the function call as auto so chat gpt will is very intelligent it will decide by itself that which function he wants to use yeah so the response we will print out the response so the response is very lengthy uh, we will print out the messages message uh, from our response which is inside here to get this one we will have to write the code like this way uh, and the response will be saved inside the response message so let's print out only the response message so response message says that it is the response by the assistant which means it is the response by the chat gpt and the content value is null right now it has not answered the query q1 rather it says that he wants to use a function which na whose name is check product quantity and the arguments to that function should be the product id like it should be ip14 so chat gpt is very intelligent he has extracted from our original message which was what is the quantity of product with id ip14 so it have extracted the argument product id and set the value of it as ip14 so this is the response message against the query uh, what is the product what is the quantity of the product with id ip14 so this is the response message against that, that query so in step two we will see that whether the chat gpt wants to use a function or not and if the response says that he wants to use a function like here it says that i want to use a function like check product quantity so then we will in step three we will call that function so let's see the code in response message we get the key function call and if it is not it, it is available then we have de here declared or a dictionary which contains all the, the uh the different uh functions we, we in, inside our implementation but here we have just one check product quantity so the function name contains uh, the name of that uh function from our response message and function to call uh, is being set, set, uh, set to the function name that which chat gpt wants to use and the function arguments it has been set uh, with the product id here so here we have executed uh, we want uh, we say uh, to our interpreted that i want to execute this function with this argument and here it is the function is being executed check product quantity and the response of that function is saved inside this variable function response let's run it so let's print out the function response so function response says that this is the product id this is the product name i 14 and the variable quantity is 30. so in step four this is very important guys here in step four we will send the info with the function role and the function response to chat gpt so now we have three things to send back uh, the response back to the chat gpt like the our original query which says what is the product quantity ag against the product id ip14 the response of that uh, query 
which says that I want to use function check product quantity and the third the response of this function like this this thing so these all all the things are being appended inside the messages list like the response message and the response of the function here with the role function and the function name and the function response so this is app being appended to the messages list and now we will make the our second call to the uh, chat gpt with the messages list and we will get our second response so here here uh, guys one uh, one thing is very important the function has been run by the not by the chat gpt itself but it has been run by the interpreter so let's make our second call to the chat gpt to get the second response now let's print out our second response here so it is very big response and inside over to get our required result we will have to get the choices and then the message from that so here we are getting the final response second response so the second response we have got the quantity of product with id ib14 is 30 so it is pretty easy to call a function while doing the conversations with chat gpt so we have made our we have got the response against our original query what is the quantity of the product with id ip14 and the chat gpt finally says the quantity of the product with id ip14 is 30 by calling a function so guys pretty simple so so guys i have written another example uh, to clarify the concepts more clearly so i have written uh, two functions uh, which will be used the first function finds the time with respect to the given location and uh, that response is dumped inside a json object so let's run it so the second function is conversation with time this function executes all over uh, all my previously described four steps inside this function uh, we have made a query to uh, like what is the time right now in us specific it will run all over four steps like step one step two step three and step four inside this function inside this one a uh, conversation with time function and uh, our final response will be saved in the second response so let's print out the response of this function so it says that the current time in us pacific is uh, 1 pm so guys pretty simple to use open ai function uh, calling uh, while doing the conversation with chat gpt so guys that's all for today uh, in our next tutorials we will gonna explore uh, more things about the lang chain till then see you guys bye bye take care